What's that sound, guys? Oh, we got the trees going on. We'll be getting some clips of this. Buckle's hard at work. Quick work of it. Big tree there. Well, they all are. Oh. Cutting them in 10 foot sections. get the trailer load as many up as he can this probably gonna take he said a couple days to get all these but we got it rolling all of them's cut we're gonna pick them pick as many up as load as many as you can
Well guys, looks like I gotta dig another hole, bury the, that's the well house power line. Over the years, the erosion coming down this hill has exposed, has brought this almost to the surface. So when he went to pick this up, it pulled it up, but it's still intact. It's not cut or nothing. I just gotta rebury it. No biggie. I think we'll get about eight of these on there probably. I think there's three already on. Let's go look. I just need to stay out of his way. Oh yeah. Take a look at these logs, these barks just peeling off. That's gonna be a mess. Best work for them though. Yeah. And I shouldn't even be standing there. But you can see how they're held in. These boys that live here know this know how to do this logging. I don't know nothing about it. What about you, Rooster? about you That right there is good for the lawn. It aerates it. Those tractor tire marks. I think it's just in the grass. It's, it's a little bumpy. I don't care. get clear like I said he's not getting it all today because he the guy that has to unload it is uh, out of town and he won't be back till tonight so gotta sit on the trailer we're gonna get a good part of them Are you watching the logging operation? Yeah. Millie and Tilly won't have their spots left anymore. They'll have to find new spots. What do you think, Rooster? She don't care.
They're all loaded up. Got about half of them. We're going to take them home. Get away from the light, guys. I told him we'll film him going down the hill in case it fall off. I can catch it on camera. Go weak ass. Hush, rooster. Go. I'm gonna have some yard work to do. Ruts and <clears throat> but I'm happy to have it. That's the worst part of his drive. He only lives a half mile down the road. And it's over. There it goes. That is a load. May not look it, but it's a load. Those big Tex trailers, man, they'll haul, they'll haul some stuff. Oh, what's the puppy doing? All right, guys, starting to get my yard back. Tomorrow I will have it. We've got a lot of bark to clean up, but hey. Got one, two little chunks there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more logs to get out of here. He'll be back in the morning to get that. But now I gotta rebury this electrical line. Uh, I knew I knew it was there, but uh, I didn't know it came over this way. He dug into the log and pulled it up. It needs to be done anyway. But I've had my share of digging. My goodness. But let's get it all done. Well, what are you little monsters in here doing? I hear you. What's that dirty nose? Yeah. Well, what are you doing, Willie? Um, goofy looking, goofy looking guy. That dirty nose. You guys are trying to get my blinds early this morning. You get, they woke up about five o'clock, just full of it this morning. Trying to get my blinds. Yeah, Oreo, you were part of it. You guys are hooligans, I tell you, hooligans. Yeah, that's hooligans. I'm gonna come in there and play with you in a little while, okay? Yesterday I didn't get to I didn't get to play with you guys much yesterday. Yeah. Did you guys put your deodorant on this morning? Uh yeah. Well you guys go play. Uh, it's been a good few months, guys. Whew. Waddles, what you doing? So now that this kennel is empty, I have to take Millie to get spayed uh, next Monday. So when she comes back, I'm going to put her in here for two or three days. She don't need to be running around after she's had that surgery. So I need to get in there and clean this out. Yep. Libby had a good place in here, and I didn't want, I don't like putting any dogs in kennels, man, but. You know, we got that highway right there, and she was a biter, so I, I had to keep her, I tried to make her life as comfortable as I could, you know, like I said, I didn't, if I knew how she was, I would have probably still got her, if I knew how she was, uh, she still deserved a good life, and she got one, so, Yesterday we hit 32 degrees or it was probably a little above it back here, but looks like my tomato survived But Saturday morning We've got a low of 34, which means it'll be below freezing here. So Between now and Saturday, I'm gonna have to cover these guys up with a tarp Because I don't want to if I lose these tomatoes and these plants there won't be any more Because I'm not paying five dollars and fifty eight cents for another plant to replace them and let's see if we got anything coming up yet i doubt it there's something coming up but i don't think that's something i planted 
Yeah, nothing coming up. Well, here I am with a shovel again. I have had my fill of digging, man. Oh. But at least here where the line was pulled up, you know, I dug this years ago, so it's still pretty easy digging, but I got about 10 more feet. <sighs> All the things I could do with that around here. Yes, sir. All right, got the line, electrical line buried again. It's much deeper. It should never be a problem again. Just gotta wait for a couple rains and it should level out here. There's a few soft spots I'll fill in. But yeah. I hope that's I hope that's the last thing I gotta dig for a while. I'm tired, man. My hands are like rocks now. There's so many calluses on them from this. But it's done. One less thing to worry about. Alright, man. I'm gonna end this video and eat some lunch and relax. Well, we got somebody over here first. We could go visit Miss Tilly. You just over here? Yeah. How come your ears are so big? You know why? Because I can take them and wipe your eye boogers. Yeah, they're perfect. Look at that. Is that Mr. Willie? No. That's Lulu. What you doing, Lulu? Alright guys, happy trails.